Well, they might affect some ours. I don't usually like going off on other YouTubers, but this one managed to hit a raw nerve. Now, I listen to almost 100% traditional country and western music. And Cole Casper KY is making a claim that talking about de devils and demons and everything, devil worship and country music, doesn't seem to have any problem with any other form of music. This, uh, fundamentalist Christians, for some reason, hate country music. Many of them do. This guy really hates it, and he hates, and he's a Donald Trump hater on top of that. They started off, uh, that demon worship and country music and playing Trump, the Donald Trump theme by Paul, Paulette Carlson. He's claiming there's demons and devils. And I pulled up, I wrote this down here. Excuse me, this is a political song that has nothing to do with imaginary, shiny horned, foul-smelling demons. Go back to listening to your hip-hop, death metal, or whatever you listen to. Leave my country music alone. <laughs> and this has a bunch of lyrics. You can find this on uh, YouTube. It's got uh, a handful of speeches by the Donald and such. But look over to the right in the uh, promoted videos. Blatant country music. Blatant Illuminati devil worship in country music. Round here by Georgia, Florida Georgia Line. See See if I can find that. And here we go. Here's that tab. I played the video, and they're standing there, uh, praying. But you never, you'll never guess who they're praying to. Was it some imaginary, foul-smelling, shiny horned demon? No, they're praying to Jesus Christ. Doesn't mean I like the song. I thought it sucked, but uh, anyway, the well, music's a matter of taste. Anyway, Florida Georgia Line lyrics. How they look like a metal band or something. Well, they were praying to Jesus Christ. They weren't praying praying to some shiny horned, foul smelling, imaginary demon. The guy apparently doesn't care about that, though, because he continues to attack country music. You Baby You by Highway 101. I'll have to look that one up. It's got to be on YouTube. I actually could learn a thing or two from this guy, find out which songs he hates, and uh, listen to him, see if I like him. Uh, Mr. Cole Casper, KY, uh, maybe, I think you're spending a little too long, much time in that book. It seems what you do is you, uh, sit there and quote one Bible verse after another like you're proving any, something. Well, those Bible verses were written a long time ago by people who couldn't have even imagined our modern world today. So, Mr. Cole Casper KY, I think you got some issues there. You want to see some devil uh, worship, you can watch some of that death metal stuff. 
but instead you're picking on country music. Some of those bands, I couldn't even identify them as human if I didn't know they were. Because of all the makeup and crap. So, Mr. Cole Casper, sir, you, you got issues, boss. Spend a little less time in that book and a little more time in the real world. I don't even sit here and talk about Illuminati and stuff and go through uh, all these different forms of music because music is a matter of taste, Mr. Cole Caspery, KY, whatever. Music is a matter of taste. Duh! I would never, ever listen to uh, hip-hop or something like that, but whatever you want to listen to, that's your business. This guy's kind of... I'm afraid this guy's kind of whacked out. Mr. Cole Casper, he's K.Y. Sir, uh... Well, I, maybe you ought to talk... I want to say talk to a psychiatrist, but maybe you talk to... Uh, your preacher, he might be a little bit more understanding, unless you're going to one of these super uh, Bible-thumping churches. Mr. Cole Casper, K.Y., sir, I uh, am an agnostic. I wonder if it matters to you, Mr. Cole K Casper, K.Y., if you look up the uh, gar whole Garden of Eden story, it is clearly about planting uh, a fruit orchard which is artificially irrigated from a river by the Bible's own mission, Mr. Cole Casper, K.Y. And then <coughs> uh, Adam was put in it to tend to it. He was told to eat anything, he could eat anything he wanted as long as he didn't touch that one tree. It says God planted a garden there. And that it was irrigated from a river. The mist rose from the ground and watered the ground. And the source was the river by the Bible's own mission. That's far different from the story we uh, get from the religious people about Genesis. Anyway, that'll be it for this one. Mr. Cole Casper came by. Uh, you need to get your head screwed on a little better. It's not fitting you very well. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. <laughs>